Morning everybody, hope you're well. Another weekend of working on the van, I haven't really worked on it all week. Um, I did another, another coat of paint actually, I'm lying one evening on the floor. But apart from that, yeah, no work's done. So today we're going to get on with the windows. So a little bit scary, but a little bit excited. Um, two back windows, they're from Van Pimps, I'll show you. So there they are, from the outside. Obviously it's got a handle to go with the, in the holes. But closes up like that. And then these here, that's the bottom. That is uh, vents for the condensation. So hopefully they work well, I'll let you know. But there was only 99 pounds from Van Pimp, so I think if they do work well, it's a bargain. They look really cool, and I think they're transformed the back of the van. Also got a toll skylight, which I'm gonna put in. I'll probably do that tomorrow, because I've got loads of work to do in the garden, my wife keeps nagging me. Um, but it is a state out there. So, yeah, I'll just uh, finish my coffee. What's up? And uh, we'll get on with it. See you in a bit. That's all I've done so far. Placed the window down on there, face down. Gone round the outside, I don't know if you can see that. And then I've measured 60 mil in and done it another loop round there. Just traced it 60 mil. That's because it's about 62 mil to this room here. See? And also I've got these vents that need to fit in and this needs to sit in. So if I cut the template out, 60 mil for now. And then I'll try fit the window into the template, see how well it fits. If it needs a bit more, I can do a bit more. I'd rather it be a bit tighter than a bit big. So then uh, I'll offer it up to the van, see how it, get it all square, see how it looks, and then uh, start cutting. Stop moving like you're running out of time The realisation coming over your mind That it should be a kind of If you could just find the answer You know it could be a kind of If you're just a wee bit less of a wanker Melding half of the time Just gonna go back there. As you can see, I've got this rib here in the way. I'm gonna have to cut this out. It's not structural. It's just to stop these panels vibrating. But I've got my Dodo anti-vibration soundproofing that can go on there to stop that. Up there. Take this rib out. I'm gonna use this multi-tool. Just because I borrowed it off a friend, but. Um, there it goes. I don't know if it'll be back than a grinder or not. Find out. Though.
Really easy to remove. Went with a grind in the end. It was a straight cut and uh, just a lot faster. That multi tool. Never used one before. I don't know if I'm using it right, but it just seemed pretty slow. Probably if you're not so confident with a grinder, maybe maybe it'd be a better option. But I think I'd have been there a bit too long. So I'll clean all this mastic off now. All I did was run my knife around the top and the back, and it's dropped off. So clean up all this mastic. Do the same on the other window, mark out the windows, and then we'll get the jigs on it. It's going to be really difficult to make the windows look level, because I've got no straight lines in these back door panels. So I've just temporarily marked it out on the inside. When the door's shut, um, now it's open, it looks pissed again. So I'm just going to go with that for now. I'm going to drill a small pilot hole, turn it around the other side and get it level from the outside. If I'm happy with that, do the same on the other one. I don't know if you can see them pencil marks, but I drew both windows out on the back. Just trying to eye it up, make sure they look. Because if you notice, the top's not quite straight, the bend's that way, the sides are that way, bottom's in. So it's a bit all over the place. So I've measured them both out, they're both the same and they look pretty good to the eye. So, done one pilot hole, do another, get on with it. In hindsight, should have put some masking tape around, so a lot of people do that in line. Because I've got a plastic cover on my jigsaw, I thought it would be alright. But that's marked it a little. Hopefully uh, the window, the thickness of the window should cover that, but just bear that in mind if you're doing one at home. Ooh. Sorry guys, the camera must have went flat on the last window. But all you need to do is apply one continuous line of silicon adhesive to the back of the window starting and finishing at the bottom. Then apply directly to the van with some gaffer tape to hold it in the correct position until set. Also guys, if you are enjoying this video, I would really appreciate it if you could just like and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks.
Stay back. Sure. That's better. I stuck on both on and I actually uh, got on position and then realised one was a few, about four mil too far to one way. So I needed to take the tape off, readjust it. You know, it's got to look, got to look even. Um, so far, happy. No, let's get on with the rest of it. Weather's a bit iffy, on and off rain and a few showers here and then the sun's coming out, but keeps having little showers. So I'm gonna forget the roof light for a minute. I'm gonna crack on with the soundproofing and um, anti-vibration pads, which are from Dodo. Uh, it's just called Dodo Matt. I'm gonna do the wheel arches and also, I don't know if you notice, I've cut these uh, braces out there, the uh, anti-vibration braces, not any, they're not structural. So, just to stop these panels vibrating, because that's where we're having the bed, so we want as wide as we can. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna soundproof all that and the wheel arches, and there is quite a lot of soundproofing already in here. The, um, they obviously put it in when they turned the van into a minibus, so probably got too much of it to be honest, but it's all good. I'll put it in where I can and see what we've got left. Maybe I'll just, I'll just send a bit back for a bit of money. But yeah, this little roller, I got it from B&Q, quite cheap. It's uh, not really made for this, you're supposed to get, you can get a roller especially for this, but this will do the job, it's a lot cheaper. So, there we go, let's get cracking. Fall that side, peel back that side, which we peel it off, and stick it on. Make sure the surface is nice and clean. Uh, I'm going to cover these quite well because they will vibrate quite a lot. So, oh, how to start? I think we'll probably go right up there with this one. Roll it on nice and tight. So you can hear already, um, just with a couple of pads on. You're not supposed to cover the whole thing, I'm just doing the wheel arches because they are will be quite noisy. So you just put like one one or two patches and it stops the, the vibration travelling. So can you hear the difference already? I mean quite a big difference. Uh, and this is only what half covered. So I'll probably put another one or two on these. Just like I say, because they are very loud with the wheels driving, and then the rest will just have patches to stop that vibration travelling. So, uh, let's see, there's a wheel arch fully done, this one here is not done. So, let's listen to the difference. Big difference. One is like just a green abrasive pad, really good for cleaning stuff up, getting stuff really smooth actually. Um, anything else, you know, you don't want to start grinding the metal, especially as you've got to keep cleaning it because you don't want metal filings around the van. But um, also, you want to make sure you paint up anything like so. Where I've cut these, uh, cut these struts out here. They need touching up with paint, stop the rust, filing down, touching up with paint. Um, I've already given them a pretty, pretty good file anyway, but yeah, give them a little lick of hammer right, make sure everything's coated, and that way you're not going to have any future problems with rust or less likely to. So. Quite a lot of big areas now. It's going to cut a load of them up now into threes. Oh. So yeah, I'm going to cut a load of them up into threes now and just put them around any little gaps we got. Um, 
hopefully that'll make all the difference. Uh, so I probably will use all two boxes actually. But now it's time for a beer. Got um light organic lager, lol. Stroh Brewery. You can see that focused. But um, they're just up the road from me. Really good brewery. They got a little pub as well that you can stop in, have pizzas and a little drink, live music, things like that. Really nice little place. Um just had a, a steak, organic steak with dinner, that was really nice too. This was a bit lighter. That's in the name, isn't it? Light organic lager. But um, yeah, cheers. Get down to Spray Brewery. Maybe they'll give me a sponsor. Or a few free cans. Alright, guys, well, that's the end of this video. Hopefully, on the next one, weather permitting, we'll be putting in the skylight and the roof fan. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Ciao for now.